the landfill area is dry because naturally we're not getting rain. Why is that a problem for us? We have persons who are trespassing on the compound and they are creating a nuisance because what they're doing, they are burning copper. Uh, there's a trade for copper in Barbados, we know that. You're trying to get the rubber off of the copper. We won, we didn't give them permission. From all intelligence from the Barbados Fire Service, they did not get permission. So what they're doing, they are causing a nuisance and they're breaking the law. Why is that also a problem? Because a simple flame can ignite the grass surrounding the landfill. And once the landfill uh, catches um, up, then we know that it's going to cause a serious strain on our resources both man because we have to get crews to use the water tankers to out it is going to cause strain on the fire service because they're going to have to deploy um, trucks and trucks um, to come here along with crews it's going to cause um, resources from the ministry of health they have to come um, the environmental people have to come and do air quality testing so a simple act while one may argue that they're just doing something um, to bring extra money it has the potential to be a nuisance at a bigger scale. We also have residents who live downwind, and we are sp speaking about areas like uh, Bennett's, Arch Hall, and Butts. And they have been complaining because each time they see uh, a fire in the area, they think that something is happening at the landfill. When we investigate, it's not the landfill on fire, it's actually those persons who have been coming onto the compound and creating a nuisance. To our left, you're seeing the area called, uh, well, it's a berm. And what we do there, this is where we do the control burning of the mattresses. These would come from geriatric, psyche, Queen Elizabeth, nursing homes, nurseries. Even um, members of the public in general, they can bring their mattresses here. After they are uh, set down by our uh, platform area on the entrance, which is really the... Uh, the northern side of the landfill then they are transported here and it's we have permission for the fire service to do this control burning this is the only set of burning that happens at any time here at the mangrove pond and we are very concerned about those other small pockets as i take you around you will see at least about eight different sites where persons would um, do this um, illegal stuff and we are really calling on them to desist from this act because you have persons living down winter again, respiratory issues. Uh, it's the dry season. We have lots of dry grass in the area. It will cause um, some problems. There's something called the Nuisance Act, which you can be charged up to $5,000 and are imprisonment uh, for causing a nuisance. We know that from the Ministry of Health Act. Uh, so from that basic thing, we know that the person can face $5,000. Then the fire service will then now have to look at their legislation, but we know there's a fine for that as well. So, it, the, the issue is we haven't caught anybody, but we are aware because oftentimes when we come and we investigate, we can see the spots and you can see fellas driving the rear around the way, but we have been unable to catch any of them. We know that there's a big trade in Barbados for the copper. Uh, there are companies who ship it overseas. Uh, and we, we can put the dots together and know that these persons are burning the rubber to get the copper to be part of that trade. We have been working uh, closely with the police at the whole town and uh, from time to time they do patrols but you know they also have the other work to do. We have increased our security at the landfill but again because of the border we don't have control over the other side but we know we have to speak about the other side because of the potential it can cause to our side as well. So we have done all that is humanly possible on our end. Um, even to, if you don't, you're here and there's no smell because the crew at the landfill, they work around the clock to uh, keep the smell down. Um, based on how you are speaking, it seems like this has been happening for quite some time. Um, in terms of actually speaking out about it, no. Um, but that suggests that there has been an increase of the illegal activity. We would say that and we have tried the moral suasion. We've, uh, at one time we stopped a vehicle that we thought was uh in the trade but we're not police to search and uh, we asked the persons to desist for uh we would have saw persons walking down with bags we've asked them say if you're doing this please desist from it so we tried the moral persuasion this is now the public appeal but we are really appealing uh to the public in general if you know 
anyone who is engaging in this app, please, we're asking you, one, you have to seek permission from the fire service if you want to create any type of combustion. Secondly, you're doing it near the landfill and a, non a landfill is really a live thing going on there. It's live, the gases are there and we don't want to create uh, what we had a couple years ago when the tires were on fire and, and you would realize that persons all down the whole tongue, they were affected um, by um, the smothering uh, that was coming from the landfill.